The village of Nailston in Leicestershire is commemorating a sad day in its history. It's 75 years since a US aircraft crashed, killing all 12 crew on board. The B-17 Flying Fortress was on a training flight from Suffolk to Liverpool when it came down near RAF Desford. At the special ceremony for us was our correspondent Rajiv Popat. A special service to commemorate 12 American airmen who were killed thousands of miles from home. Let's just pause, shall we, for a moment as we perhaps hold those who lost their lives, uh, both in this crash, but also, of course, uh, throughout the First and the Second World Wars. Exactly 75 years ago, the B-17 bomber was on a training flight when it ran into trouble over Desford Aerodrome in Leicestershire. It flew low over Nailston before hitting a tree on farmland. The plane was loaded with bombs and ammunition. It sounds like they diverted the bomber away from homes and from people, uh, which would make them heroes. We certainly know that the um, pilot was seen as he went across the treetops at Barston, that he could be seen pulling the plane up and wrestling with it. And I suspect that, that he, you know, he really did know that he, you know, he was trying to avoid some form of habitation. These are planes that fly quite fast, so that would have been very, very difficult. At the local church hall, an exhibition opened today about the crash. The B-17 was known as the Flying Fortress and the Heavenly Body, the backbone of US aerial forces during the Second World War. I do know they were probably relieved to be out of the centre of the action, and yet tragedy struck them. And so here we all are today, 75 years later. These men had all seen combat, and they would have seen it again if they had not intervened. Stan Crane was just nine at the time and lived close by in the village of Ibstock. He ran to the scene as soon as he heard what had happened. It was a bit of an adventure, really. I wanted it was something new, something different that we didn't see every day. And uh, we obviously knew there was a war going on. And Aeroplanes were being crashed and shot down. Uh, and I obviously wanted to see it. The impact of the crash was huge. For decades, the wreckage was embedded deep underground and was eventually found by a man with a metal detector. 75 years have passed, but the dedication and bravery of the 12 men will never be forgotten. Rajiv Poppert, ITV News, Nailston in Leicestershire.